How's it going, guys? This is Forensic Forex with Deontay, and I'm back with another video. This is your daily update to crude oil. As you can see here on Monday, we got a down close day again. And after down close days and a bullish trend, you would like to buy after that because theoretically, in these down close candles and a bullish trend, we're speculating that the commercial speculators or the entity in the marketplace that controls price action, they're reaccumulating their longs in these down days. We can see that we get a higher swing low confirmation. The Tuesday candle just opened not too long ago. And we can see there here is a higher swing low formation. So once again, price action still is bullish. We have no breaks of a swing low. So bearish momentum is not in the market. We keep breaking swing highs. And swing highs equal what? Bullish momentum. So I'm still aiming and eyeing for this high to be broken. And even that 20 day look back high here. Overall, like I said, it is still range bound technically. This is not a price point where it hasn't been before. Price needs to start trending. And the subtle signs is that we're reading the swing points. Higher swing low, higher swing high. And that's what we're looking for. So here, let me take this off. You can see our price. I'll mark it out just so we have it as a reference still. Price broke that swing high. And now we have a swing high in most recent time that we would like to see price get up to. So this would be the target. Notice everything is occurring in a discount. Those buying opportunities, those turning points, those swing lows that we're seeing, they're happening in discount. Now, we will see swing lows get printed in a premium, but when the ideal buying conditions start to unform and they are earlier into the month or wherever they are in the month, they tend to happen to be in a discount. So all in all, still bullish on crude oil. I do not see this thing going lower currently. I know people may be looking at, you know, supply and demand or geopolitical tensions or other natures outside of fundamentals. And right now I'm just looking at the fundamentals and the candles printed on the chart. The candles will tell you it all. Now, at times there might be world events, right, or disasters that occur that will accelerate price action and change the trajectory of where price will, you know, follow through towards. Let's say something happens in one of these countries, you know that is really extreme, you know, and there's a lot of fear in the market. This market can definitely be accelerated, whether that's to the downside or upside or whatever that event is going to produce and investors are going to take a side. That's not up to me. But what it's up to me is reading the current price action. Peace.